All right, you guys, in this video, I wanna talk about how to create a A-B split test inside of Google Ads and also how to analyze the results. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our campaign. We're inside of our client's campaign here. All you're gonna do is go to under campaigns, you're gonna to go to experiments right here. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and click this blue plus button under ad variations. So click that. Here you're gonna select your campaign. Then you're gonna filter the ads by final URL. So basically whatever the control URL is, so let's say lander A, right? Well, this would be www.clientname.com slash lander one a or whatever it is you you should have a url that it already goes to and then you're going to have one that it you know 50 percent of the traffic is going to go to lander 1b for example once you do that you're going to hit continue so now what you're going to do is click find and replace and leave it as is it should be the default option then you're going to do find text in the url so here we go we're going to do the exact same url so www.clientname.com slash lander 1a okay and then what we're going to do is replace that with lander 1b or whatever the naming convention is for that url that you're testing against and that's what you're going to do here then you're going to hit continue and then you're going to give it a name so you're going to do a b split test form on page versus pop-up form you want to give it a descriptive name so you can always take a glance or your team can take a glance and see what's actually being tested. Here, we're going to do the start date is whenever you want. If you want it today, leave it as is. The duration, we want to leave it up to as long as possible and Google Ads allows 84 days. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to do a 50% split. And then I would hit create variation. And then Google Ads is going to do the rest. It's going to take about 30 minutes or so for all the changes to apply. And now every time somebody clicks on your ad, 50% are going to go to Lander 1A, 50% are going to go to Lander 1B. Once that is up and running, what you're going to do is go to Add Variations and you should see it here and it should say Active or it should say Applying if it is just getting started. So once it's active under Add Variations, you should see it in its own row. It should say Active and it'll tell you what's going on here in this column. It says find this URL and replace it with the second URL and 50% will go to the first one, 50% will go to the second one. Now here you can see that this split test has been going on for a while. We have a couple of them going for different campaigns. And what we wanna see here is the data. What is performing better and how do you do that? We look at conversions, cost per conversions and conversion rate. So now what I would do is hover over this little question mark icon under each column and you can actually see how many leads or conversions each uh, URL got. So the original, right, is 1A, has nine, 1B only has four ever since this experiment started. So right now, 1A is winning almost 2X, right? Now, if we go to cost per conversion, we can see if I hover over this question mark, the cost per lead or cost per conversion for Lander 1A is significantly less than 1B, right? 90 versus 30. Same with the conversion rate, if I hover over this, it shows that the thir there's a 30% conversion rate for Lander 1A versus Lander 1B has only 11. So this is why we do split tests. We wanna see if we're, uh, if we never did a split test and we did you know, 1B forever, you know, we never would have known that uh, the other landing page actually converts a lot better. Now, at this point, you're probably thinking like, okay, let's go ahead and apply these changes, right? Let's, let's, or let's go ahead and, you know, get rid of 1B and keep 1A. Well, what we like to do is just to confirm this data is we like to go to the landing page report. So if you go under campaigns here, under insights and reports and go to landing pages, what you can do is use a filter. So the landing page report basically shows you exactly what URLs cost money and resulted in a conversion. So if I go ahead and click add a filter and then go to landing page, what we can do is have contains and then whatever your URL is that says 1A and 1B, you can filter by that. So in this case, it's tx-lander-1A, that's the actual client URL that we're the control, right? So here at the bottom on the total row, total filtered landing pages, we can see that there have been eight conversions for $36 for at 27% conversion rate. Now, if I change this to 1B, I can see, okay, what's the what's the other landing page doing? Well, here it says it only has four leads for $77 and 13% conversion rate. 
So this just confirms our, our data. I like to check this just in case. Sometimes the experiment data is a little skewed, so we like to check this as well. Okay, so at this point we know that the control lander 1A is winning, so what do we do, right? At this point what we do is we click pause right here, or we click the checkbox and hit remove. This will stop the experiment and then you can go ahead and create a new one, create landing page 1C and then test that versus 1A again. But let's say for the scenario, for the point of this video, let's say that 1B, right, the, the other option, the experiment, won out. What would you do in that case? In that case, what you would do is hit apply. This would change all the URLs for your ad. So all your ads would, instead of going to 1A, they would go now to 1B. The only caveat here is that site links, promotion extensions, price extensions, any other extensions that go to URLs, you have to switch manually. Because if not, those will still go to the original uh, whatever it was, 1A, for example. So again, if you hit apply, this only changes responsive search ads not extension. So that's the only caveat. If you still get leads from the original URL, uh, that's because probably your site links aren't changed or anything like that. So I hope this video has helped you with analyzing AV split tests within Google Ads. If you guys have any questions, please let us know. Happy to help. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.